Now let's get into imaging with the Sonosite Edge so you can get started quickly. We'll start with the new patient. Clicking here, and here's where we'll enter our patient information screen. We'll type in the last name, the first name. I'm just going to enter. I'll hit select and hit test. I can use the tab key to go to the next fields if I choose. Here's a patient ID where I'd like to enter any patient identification information. I'll just do one, two, three, four, five for test. Any other information that's pertinent. And here you're going to choose your exam mode that you're going to be. This is what's available on this transducer that I have attached. We'll just stick with vascular for now. And any other information you might need to add. Here is where you would end an exam or start a new exam. Cancel it. But we'll click done so we can get started exam with the exam. Okay. Now, we've already shown what the keyboard can do and everything that's around the screen. We'll go into a little more depth about uh, the, some of these controls down here. Gen is for general imaging, and this would be like selecting a frequency range on another transducer. When you choose, and it goes to RES, it stands for resolution. That's going to use the higher frequencies in the probe, which is going to be for more near-field imaging. General will be for just general imaging, which will be kind of the middle range of the transducer. And if you're having trouble seeing, you would go to penetration, which is going to use the lower frequencies of the transducer so you can see further in the image. Coming across, we have our dynamic range. Really, you only have seven selections. Negative one, negative two, negative three, zero, and one, two, three. You can use those to help optimize your image to make it smoother or, or have a higher contrast in your image. Guide for needle guide, you'll just click and it's going to give you the information. You're going to choose A, B, or C for the different orientations of that needle guide. Since I have a low depth, it's not showing the C. Click back. I can hit guide again to turn it off. MB is Sono MB. This is for multi-beam imaging, also known as compound imaging. It's going to use multiple lines of sight to help improve your image quality. Dual is for dual imaging. You would hit dual and then you would hit update to update the different image. And this marker here will show you which image you're on. Go back and forth with the update key and you can freeze. We'll unfreeze and get back to the imaging. Go to page two. This is your screen brightness. You can turn up the screen brightness here. Your orientation. Uh, let me get out of the dual screen here. So we'll go back to our orientation. We'll go left, right, and there we go. Clips. Clips can be stored based on time or heartbeats, and you can have a preview on. You can be pro or retro for storing your clips. So if you choose how many seconds you want to store a clip, let's say we're going to do two seconds. If I do pro, while I'm scanning, if I hit the clip button, it's going to save the next two Im seconds of imaging. This is unlike some machines where you would have to hit freeze and then save the clip and scroll back. Right now, I've got it set to two seconds. So when I hit clip, it's going to see the next two seconds, and then it's going to show me what that was when I have preview on. But if I want to just keep imaging, I'm going to turn the preview off, and I would hit Pro, which this would be similar to using like a VCR where you're recording live. So I would hit Pro, hit it, it would store the next two seconds, and I could keep scanning. If we go to Retro, what I would need to do is freeze the image, and then I would hit Clip and store the last two seconds of the image. If I want to select by heartbeat, or I would choose ECG, and it's going to choose how many beats I want it to save. Again, preview, if I save the image, preview will show me once I freeze or hit the clip, it's going to show me whatever it is that I'm looking at. I'll go back to the main page. MBE. This is Sono MBE. Multi, uh, this is for multi-beam imaging. It's beam steering, which is um, also known as the Advanced Needle Visualization Package. You would use this. And here, it's set up where you would take the needle and go perpendicular to this image. And you can go up to 50 degrees from this line here. So you want a fairly shallow depth. And you can choose steep, so the needle's here. Medium, a little flatter, and shallow, which where the needle's going to come very shallow across. 
And if you want to come from the other side, you can do a left-right flip if you're coming in from this angle. You want to turn it off, just turn it off, and you're back to the main page. For image optimization and other fields, we can use near. This will select the gain. In the near field, as we discussed, far field will take the far field, and gain will take the overall image. Many just prefer to hit auto, which will try and optimize the gain throughout the image for you. Here we can adjust the depth of the image, and you'll see that the depth changes down here. Zoom will give me a zoom box. I'll click it again, and we'll zoom in on the image, and there's a little Z up in the left-hand corner where my probe marker would normally be, but it shows you a Z to show that you're in zoom mode. Hit zoom again, and you're back to regular imaging. On a frozen image, you can use this gain button. Right here on a frozen image, it shows how many frames we have stored. I can use this gain button to scroll back through the image. To go forward, it'll go frame by frame. I'll use some gel on the probe so I can demonstrate a little better. So I'll unfreeze the image and I'll just tap around. I'm just using my thumb on the probe here. And when I freeze, now I have 96 frames and I can scroll back frame by frame here, or I can use the trackpad to scroll through. And I can also use these arrow keys. So many, many ways to scroll back and do the same thing. So if I want to save that clip, I'll hit here, and it's going to save the last two seconds of that. It showed up here. See this little blue coming down? It's going to show that I saved the last two seconds. If I want to save a particular frame, I could scroll back to that particular frame, hit save, and it will save that single image. It shows that I still have 99% of the 8 gigabytes available in the hard drive of this system. For different storing options, see the setup video later in this series. To make measurements, just to make a standard distance measurement for something we don't want to save, onto the report well here then we hit select to change the caliper to make the measurement we hit select and if that's the measurement we would want to make we hit save and that'll save the screen this is not saved to report so there's not anything to do to save the actual caliper it's going to if you hit set to try and end it it's just going to keep allowing you to move to choose another caliper you'll hit caliper again you hit select to change to the other if you want something to go to the report you would need to use the calcs so how to delete, delete these? You hit the delete key, you delete again, and you're back to the regular measurements. So I'm in a nerve setting, so if I hit calcs, basically what's available is the volume. So I can hit distance one. I'm gonna select that. It's gonna allow me to take the first distance. Hit set, hit save. I'm gonna take distance two, select save, distance 3, select, and hit save, and I have my volume. In the next we'll get into the Doppler and color Doppler modes, but we'll show you M mode real quick here. Again, you can set the image optimization, your dynamic range, Sono MB, and when you're ready to go into the M mode, you're going to click update and you can change your sweep speed here. To annotate an image, you'll hit freeze, you'll hit text, you can scroll this to wherever you'd like, hit, you can type manually, you can also choose called a label, which will bring you to annotation libraries that you can preset, which will be in the setup video later in this. So this says one of eight, there's eight different choices in this library. Here's B, I have one or two, and here, zero of zero, there's nothing set in, the, in this library for my nerve setting. If I want to delete the last word. And I want to take a note here. When you push this, watch where you rest your hand. Twice in a row, <laughs> I've pushed this, and my finger has touched this power button, which shuts down the entire machine. So when you're selecting anything up here, be careful where your hand is, because I've done it twice, and I've used this machine many, many times, and I just made that mistake. So... Anyway, there's a piece of free advice there for the machine. Let's go on to the arrow.
take and select the arrow. You can show or hide. We're done. It'll save that arrow and leave it on screen. Again, I'm on cine mode, so I can go through and it's showing these images. For picto or body marker, we hit that. We can choose from our library the different choices, and then we would use this to set the transducer. And you would click done when that's set. We hit freeze to unfreeze the image. Hit picto again, go to hide, click done, and it's no longer there. Next, we'll get into the Doppler modes on the Sonos Side Edge.